Okay, hello. Hi there. Could you please introduce yourself? I'm Sarah. I work for the SES company. I am co-founder and chemist. Ah, and so what does, what does YES do? We make certified organic intimate lubricants, vaginal moisturizers, and intimate washers. Wow. Um, and could you tell, tell me a little bit about what prompted your journey? Yeah, I was working for Pfizer in New York when they launched Viagra, and there were a lot of unhappy Viagra wives. Unhappy purely because they hadn't made love for a long time, their bodies couldn't, and their husbands wanted to. So they went off with a much younger woman and divorced these poor old ladies. So we wondered what we could do for them, see if there was a product that would help them uh, have a happier sex life in their older ages. Okay, yeah, so you told me about vaginal atrophy? Vaginal right? atrophy, yeah. uh, vaginal dryness. Vaginal atrophy, or atrophic vaginitis is its technical term, is basically very, very dry uh, vagina, caused mostly through menopause. Um, menopause is uh, a mean thing that nobody tells us about when we're younger. Oestrogen starts, oestrogen production by the body starts slowing up, drying up, and drying up the rest of the body in the process. So about 60 to 80 percent of women experience vaginal dryness, and in its extreme form, vaginal atrophy. Okay, so um, in, am I correct in thinking that is when the walls stick together? Ah. The, the, the way that vaginal dryness is experienced in its extreme form, vaginal pH rises, so the protective uh, uh, nature of the lactobacillus and the vagina are, are compromised. In its extreme form, as I said, in atrophy, the walls of the vagina dry out, become very fragile, can stick together, which makes movement or sitting down very painful and can rip, rip the skin. It, it's, um, it's very, very uncomfortable. If you use a, a vaginal moisturizer that rehydrates dry tissues and can bring vaginal pH back down again, you can actually really help these conditions. Okay, so um, am I correct to think that you formulated your product so it has the right pH? You are correct. <laughs> we absolutely did. So we have a product called YesVM, Yes Vaginal Moisturizer, that is pH matched to the vagina, pH 4, uh, and it rehydrates dry tissues. It, it's isosmotic, which means it only releases water if the tissues need it, and it's bioadhesive, it gently sticks to the walls of the vagina, which means it just hangs around, it lasts for two or three days, and will gently rehydrate. We design all our products to be side effect free. They're plant-based and certified organic, so they do, you can use as much as you possibly want or as little. Okay. And could the, these products be used for anal care as well? We wouldn't recommend using a vaginal lubricant for anal play because the pH of the rectum and the vagina are very different. Rectal pH is around 7, so you should use, uh, if you're going to use a water-based lubricant for anal play, you should use a lubricant that is designed for that. We have one, and it's called Yes But. Excellent name. Thank you. Um, now, what other products do you have? We have oil-based lubricants, which are not condom compatible. All of our water-based lubricants are. We also have a product called Yes Baby. I hasten to add it is not for babies, it's for making babies. It's a two-pack system. One lubricant, the first lubricant, is sperm friendly. It's designed to match the pH of semen. Sperm stops swimming at around pH of 6. So if you use a vaginal lubricant, pH 4, sperm will swim into it and stop. So we've designed a lubricant that matches the right pH for semen, so to be used at ovulation. Post ovulation, you want to bring vaginal pH down again to an acidic level that's normal to prevent thrush and bacterial vaginosis. So that's the two pack Yes Baby system. Wow, thank you so much for your information. Hey, it's a pleasure. <laughs> we'll see you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>